neck goes down. I feel like you're suppling the neck down a little bit. That's it. It's a little bit like I talked to Andrea about this, the, you know, like when you want to shape some clay on a pottery wheel, right? Okay. The faster you spin the wheel, the easier it is to shape the clay. For your horse, the spinning of the wheel is going more forward. So go on the circle and push some impulsion in like you're going to get into trot, but don't let him trot. Go on the circle. Make him look left a little bit. Yeah. And ask him with your inner leg to trot, but don't quite let him trot. And now make him a little bit rounder on your reg. Supple with your leg. Like, see, you made him rounder there by adding with your leg and then using your reg. Did you feel the result there? That was very nice. Do that again. Supple him a little bit upwards to the left that you can see his left eyelashes. And now look at his right ear and work it down a bit with the downward pressure on your right rein. I work my right rein towards my right knee a little bit. Towards that direction. Good. Keep going until his neck is flatter. Until the neck goes down a little bit more. Good. Now give a little bit of the So that's a really nice shape. How did that feel? Good, now move him away from your inner leg again. I want you to feel his hind leg stepping out a little bit. Perfect. Good. And now change Ray through the middle of your circle when you're ready. Very good there. Very nice. Well done. And now you're going to have a new inside leg, new outside rein. Supple to the right. Flex him a little bit right, but you can see his eyelashes on the right. Good. And now look at the left ear and decide. You know what? I want it two inches lower than it is. Put a bit more impulsion in. That's it. And now have a little discussion on your reins. Not an argument, but a little bit of a discussion. Show him the way down with your left rein. Yeah. Show him the way down. Good. And then make him feel a little bit more confident and comfortable when he put his, puts his neck down by by making the rain feel a little bit softer when he goes down there. Circle. Basically, Laura, I want you to restrain against anything upwards in the neck and encourage and allow anything downwards. How does that feel? Very good there. I'm also not always very good with I want you to think about carrying the whip across your thigh, that it sits across your thigh. I put my thumb on the shaft of the whip like this. Look at my hand. I put my thumb a little bit on the whip like that. Exactly. And then if I want to touch with the whip, then I want to touch the horse right behind my left spur. So circle again. And the reason that I want to touch right behind my left spur is because my whip is not necessarily a driving aid. My whip is there to tell him that he should have listened to the spur in the first place. Does that make sense? Good. So now... Flex him a little right again. Good, and now make him a little rounder on the left rein within the right flexion. Yeah, like a massage. Yeah. Good. You have quite good feeling from the connection of your leg to your hand. It's quite good. Now let's ride him large, and at the beginning of the long side, you can make a nice transition to riding the trot on the correct close to his diagonal. I always like to go trot at the beginning of a long side because you have an open space in front of you. You came up correct the first go. Very good job. Now just stay large. And I want you to think about your upper arms being a bit more relaxed, that they hang by your side a little bit more. Good. And I see that you are coasting to his rhythm really nicely. I want to see you post to the rhythm of the trot that you want. I think you could post a little bit quicker. There, now you have a little bit more impulsion. I want to see you make a 20 meter circle up here. And I want you to have a little bit more weight in your outside stirrup. And then uh, look at your outside rein. And that's the one I want you to keep more steady. I want to see you keep your inside rein short and your outside rein really down. And now step into your outside stirrup. Weight your outside stirrup. There, now drive with your inside leg. There's your spot. How does that feel now? Good. So I want you to restrain against anything up in the neck, but if that neck wants to go down a little bit, soften. Give your hands a little bit forwards there. There you go. Anything that wants to stretch down in the neck, you give him room. I want to see one more circle. For me, there's parts of the circle where he's around your inside leg and there's parts of the circle where he's a little bit against it. I want to see you push him a little bit away from your inner leg. Like now you have a good place for it. Now give on your right rein. 
That's a good feeling now, right? And now he starts to get against your inner leg again. So push him a little bit away from it again. There you go. And if you can stay weighted in your left stirrup, then I feel like you'll be more effective with your right foot. Does that make sense? Think about that. Stay on the circle and really stay into your left stirrup. There you go. And let you be a little bit quicker. Get into that left stirrup again. Yeah, well done. You're gonna do one more circle. And now you're gonna really look at your left hand and think, I'm gonna keep it some slower than my right hand all the way throughout every phase of the circle. See, now everything is in place, because you're in place. Yeah. That's a really pretty trot there. That looks really good. And now you're gonna trot all the way around the ring. Don't you get slower, otherwise he gets slower. You be a little quicker than him. Good, left hand down. Right leg into left rein. Get a little quicker again, be quicker. That's it. Sometimes I see you following his rhythm and I wanna see you direct his rhythm, set his rhythm a little bit more. That's it, supple to the inside. That's the best trot that you've done. That's your trot there, now large. Very good, very nice, very good. Keep the flexion to the right coming into this corner. There you go. If you're going right, he's got to be supple right. Good riding. Change right onto a long diagonal. Very nice. I want to see you change your posting diagonal over the center line. Now look at the neck that it doesn't start to curl to the left too early. Super. Stepping into your new outside stirrup. Staying into your right heel. And for me, that was a weird corner, right? You sort of buried him into the tip of the corner. I want to see you get on the rail a little bit sooner, if that makes sense, for next time. Good. Now, 20 meter circle up the end here with me. Yeah, good, that's fine there. Now a bit more supple left. Supple to the left. Until you can see his left eyelashes. When you supple left, he starts to accept the outside rein more. Do you feel that? And the outside rein controls the height of the neck. So now let's do the circle again. It was a strange shaped circle by the end of it. Did you feel it sort of fell in? Yes. Yeah, so let's do the circle again, and I promise you, if you use your inner leg more here, and think about the shape of your circle, then you'll have a better connection on the outside rein. Use your inner leg, it's falling in, it's falling in. Do the circle again, that circle's even smaller than the other one. Use your whip behind your foot. Yeah. So you can kick as much as you want with your left leg, but if you don't have him flex left, He's not pointed in the direction that you're going, right? So flex him left, lift up your left rein. Now push him off your left leg. Feel the difference there? Yes. That was better. One more circle. Flex left, step right. There you go, step right. Now give him a little kick with your inside leg. Good riding. Flex left again. That's your trot there. That's the best one you've done. And sitting trot and walk and keep that place for your left leg. Don't you let him fall into it. Don't let him fall into it and walk when you're ready. Good riding. Now just a little bit less foot in your outside stair. That's it. Very good. So he's just gonna be a little bit um, sneaky and just tries